Maryland has its first candidate for governor in 2022. Thanks for staying with WJZ. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Denise Koch. Well, Comptroller Peter Francho confirms he is a candidate for the race to succeed Larry Hogan, and he's starting right now. WJZ political reporter Pat Warren talked with Francho about his decision today. Over the years, Comptroller Peter Francho has done a lot of bargain hunting. Those are the standard, though. Actually, I think there's only one in that tax. Now he'll be raising money for a campaign as governor. I'm flattered that I'm able to even consider it, and I'm typically kind of coy in considering it. Now I've just decided to put all that aside and say, hey, let's do it. It's the opposite of the conclusion he reached in 2014, considering it and deciding, hey, let's not. This one, I've, I've reached the conclusion that I've done everything I can do in the comptroller's office. Including one-on-one -on -one contact with local businesses encouraging Marylanders to shop local, and he's made a reputation for himself in other ways. People say, well, aren't you a little bit uh, you know, haven't you been in politics a long time? And geez, how, what are the young voters going to say? Turns out I'm a rock star with young voters because of the Maryland craft beer stuff that I've been involved in and championing that sector. So I think I'll be pretty well received around the state. And anticipate support from the Democratic Party. The proof of that is I've never been primary. Nobody's ever challenged me, even though there's some friction between me and the Annapolis leadership. But that's okay. The Annapolis leadership is now transitioning. Uh, and uh, I have a great relationship with the voters. Now, it may seem a little early to some to start a 2022 campaign, but the advantage is by election time, everybody will know he's running. I'm Pat Warren reporting for WJZ.